career in robotics with a computer science background. Hey everyone, my name is Kajal and today we're going to talk about pursuing robotics with a computer science background. Now when it comes to robotics or any job for that matter, there are three important factors. Skills, knowledge and attitude. Now when it comes to skills and robotics software engineering jobs, 80% of your skills is coding. Coming from a computer science background, you should have strong coding skills and this becomes an advantage for you. Now I'm speaking, keeping robotic software engineering jobs in mind because it's the most likely field to go for given a computer science background. And this brings us to the second aspect that is knowledge. Now when it comes to jobs, you could either go for more traditional computer science based jobs within a robotics company or you can go for more robotic software engineering jobs. So when it comes to computer science jobs in a robotics company, your knowledge in computer science will put you in a good position to go after these jobs. But when it comes to more robotics based jobs, your knowledge will have to include topics and algorithms specific to those jobs. So for example, let's say you're going for computer vision roles. You would have to know different algorithms within the field of computer vision as well as knowledge specific to those roles. For example, the working of a camera, how to transform images. When it comes to algorithms, it can be stitching images, texture generation, object detection, object tracking, and so on and so forth. Now, there are also areas within robotic software engineering position where you might already have an existing knowledge. For example, path planning roles. For most computer science students, they may have heard of breadth first search and depth first search and even a possibility of A star. Now, all of these algorithms are super popular in the path planning job roles. So this becomes again an advantage for you. As I mentioned, you might already know some of these algorithms. So you have to keep building on that to create a better profile for path planning positions. Now, another advantage you bring coming from a computer science background is your knowledge of data structures. This means when you write code, you're going to write a code that is more optimized. And that is an advantage you should also talk about when you're interviewing for robotic software engineering positions, that you can write a more optimized code for the given algorithm. Now, this brings us to some of the challenges that you may face coming from a computer science background. You may not have exposure to topics such as kinematics, dynamics, electronics, different sensors, and so on and so forth. This can become a challenge because you may not understand how different parts within the robots work. In general, for a position in robotics, you need to have a breadth that covers the basics of different aspects of robotics. And then you go on and create a depth that is more specific knowledge and become an expert for one of these niches. I do have an article where I cover all these different breadth topics that you need to keep in mind to have a strong robotics foundation. I link it here and in the description below. In my opinion, computer science is a great background to come from when you're pursuing robotics because you've got the 80% of the skills. And as I mentioned, you need to cover the knowledge gap and start working towards a specific niche within robotics by acquiring knowledge in that particular area. I do hope you found this video helpful. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.